Hi, I'm Dennis Gonzalez with the SCORE Esports here at the Summit 4, and joining me is Arteezy from Evil Geniuses. Um, this is the new, the new Arteezy, is mm. that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you changed since, um, since TI? Um, I'd say I learned from like joining a new team, a European team, different environment, everything. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. I wouldn't say I really changed that much, but maybe I've uh, been through kind of things that maybe shaped me differently. But I think I'm still the same. Are you still waking up to Drake? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Like, uh, I've been listening to Drake for a long time, even when I was a kid. So every time I listen to him, I just feel good. How's the, how's the patch treating you? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, everyone uh, tells me I'm a complainer and like I whine about the, the patch a lot. So on, honestly, I, I don't like the game right now. Hmm. But uh, I've been I've been through stages in Dota where I didn't like the game and I still played and I still did really well. Just uh, that's part of being a player. You know, you always have to adapt to whatever you need to do. So I kind of switched roles as well. I used to be sort of a mid in secret. Half the time I'd go mid, half the time I'd safe lane. But now pretty much I'm going to go play carry here. So, okay. Um, are there any changes you want to see in, in the next patch? Uh, it start off like with the general idea of making creeps like more like farming more viable. There's like too much chaos and there's too much reward for chaos and there's way too many heroes that scale like really well. There's no like room to have a hero that is terrible early game and stuff like that. So I'd like to see farming become a little more prioritized. Mm -hmm. But like for the viewers, like the patch is really good. But uh, I guess for the players, not so much. Mm -hmm. I know that you're, you're going to be playing carry more uh, in this tournament, but uh, one of the things that a lot of players said that they wanted changed in 6.86 is uh, they wanted Shadow Fiend uh, nerf. Mm. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'd say he does need some sort of nerf, but at the same time, I don't know. There's just a complete difference between a Radiant Shadow Fiend and like a Dire Shadow Fiend. So I feel like if you change Shadow Fiend that much, he might just become irrelevant completely. And I feel like Shadow Fiend is a hero where there's so much psychological pressure on the other team, like if they're playing against a Shadow Fiend. So I like to see those kinds of heroes still in the game. Because those heroes are like, even though they're si sort of simple concept, they're really, they're the type of hero that's like really easy to play but hard to master. And I kind of like those kinds of heroes. Um, so are you guys still like the Dire Boys? Um, you know, it's like, uh, depends on the tournament. Like some tournaments we're all, we love Dire. Like I think MLG we play Dire a lot. And then on the Frankfurt Major, we played Radiant a lot. So I think it depends on like the team we're playing against, what heroes we like to play, a lot of factors like that. Because there's still the Dire still has Roche like closer to them, and they're able to like play around the map in a way to kind of play easier in Dire. So I, I don't know. I'd say we're still Radiant boys, okay. not Dire boys. <laughs> um, you mentioned the Frankfurt Major. Um, that was like one of the things that came through the fall season. Uh, including the roster locks. Um, mm -hmm. What's your opinion on that? The six months roster locks? Um, just the roster lock in general, the idea of it being introduced in Dota. Um, I think it's a pretty good, solid infrastructure, so I, I don't really have anything opposed to it. Um, the only thing I don't like is, like, I think if, if you register a team, and then, let's say before the lock, like five days before the lock, and then someone decides they wouldn't want to play anymore with that team, then like the whole, the rest of the nine players, whatever, the team he went to, they have to go to their open qualifier, which is kind of weird, even though it wasn't locked. So that's kind of weird, but the infrastructure, the solid base of that idea is good, I think. Um, but you mentioned the six month uh, lock. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I think uh, they probably should have done it more in sync with the majors, to be mm -hmm. honest. I mean, I think they want to promote people to stay together through issues and stuff like that. Because I, sometimes I see the community always whine about people getting kicked and like, uh, teams doing replacements, not just because I joined EG or something, I just see a lot of people have strong opinions about it, so maybe they cater towards that idea, but at the same time, I think it's okay. I, I think I'm also for the idea of having like a the same roster throughout everything, like even if you have problems, you're sort of forced to fix it, you, unless you feel like the new roster you're going to have, it's like you're going to destroy the open qualifiers. So yeah, I like the idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mentioned that you were recently brought back into Evil Geniuses, mm -hmm. how's that going? Uh, so far, we're still trying to understand like our identity, but I think it's fine. I think we're working through our issues pretty well. Okay. I, I just think uh, we probably need to play the patch more, play more pubs, and try to figure out what's the best for us. Mm -hmm. Did they give you a lot of shit when you came back? Uh, who? Your, your teammates. Uh, no, the uh, first couple turns were nice, and then like started to revert like to normal. Like when TI, when I was on EG TI4 and like post TI4, started just becoming like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm fine. Yeah. 
Um, do you feel a sense of rivalry with uh, Team Liquid? Um, I, Peter just flamed the Batuma men in a pub, I think, just now. <laughs> Did he so, actually? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. As a joke, I think. But okay. uh, yeah, so maybe we have to sort of like, you know, me and Karaoke, whatever. Uh, yeah, I think maybe so. Okay. It's like not, I think it's just, it's more fun. Maybe you want to win more, but you still want to win, of course, against everybody, but yeah, maybe you want to win more.